This is Puget Puget, Finland, where the annual Javelin Carnival is held. Uh, this is the boys under nine warming up for their competition in 1999, the first time that I went there. One thing that you'll notice, even in these young kids, there's a real emphasis on running into the plant and letting the plant start the delivery of the javelin. You don't see anybody here loading up on their back leg and trying to muscle and arm the throw. They're all using their technique to get into position and launch the javelin because of their run up and using that left leg. These are the girls under 12. These girls are throwing in the 135 to 140 foot range. Again, you see a real emphasis on getting to the left leg and letting the plant deliver the javelin for them. Relaxed and aggressive, really working on making the legs do all the work. You can see here, as we look at this in slow motion, really working the legs to get the lower body ahead of the upper body so that the movement of the hips into that solid left side is what launches the javelin and strike. These are the girls 15 and 16 throwing a 500 gram javelin. And we've got to throw in the uh, high 140s, low 150 range here. This is the women 21 and under. Opening throw here is uh, in the high 180s. And in this throw, this young lady throws uh, 59 meters, low 190s, and uh, we'll look at this in slow motion a little bit later. Uh, you can see just good typical basic throwing technique, running into the left leg and letting the initiation of the plant deliver the javelin. This is the main focus on what the fins teach, getting to a solid left side by getting the right leg out of the way, what I call the soft step. And it's the basis of what they teach, as you'll see in the drills, of how they get their throw. Set the left side early, have it be a firm anchor that you accelerate the body into. Here's a slow motion replay of the 59 meter throw. Nice relaxed carry, really aggressive action with the legs moving down the runway. Everything is generated out where you want the javelin to go. Quick explosive legs, real dynamic takeoff on the left into the crossover. The right knee drops and sinks and rolls into that solid jolt, and that jolt contorts the body and delivers the javelin. You'll see that time and again on these throwers, no matter what level, when they're throwing well. And it's the basis for good long javelin throws. <laughs> This is the men 21 and under competition. Um, there were the top four guys were all over 247. Uh, a couple of that's the guys that we're seeing here, uh, including Hari Hatainen, who has made a couple of their international teams for the Olympics and World Championships, who you'll see in a little bit. Ja menee kustakauan. Kyllä nyt 
Here we have a throw of almost 82 meters that we just saw at normal speed, now at slow motion. You'll see that the emphasis is on very aggressive dynamic action with the legs, quick bounding run into an explosive crossover and get everything out of the way so you can get quickly into that left leg and let that left side block contort and launch the javelin. You can see these guys are just getting stretched out like a big bow launching an arrow. That's the whole focus of what they're trying to do. Let their plant contort the body and let that body contortion whip the shoulder and arm and ultimately the javelin out into a nice long throw. Here we've got a throw over 251 feet that we'll look at again in slow motion. Some differences in basic movements, but primarily you'll see that the emphasis and the action is to get the hips and the lower body ahead of the chest and shoulders, and then that sudden impact of the left side arches the back and chest and delivers the shoulder strike and then the javelin out into the throw. And then I'll start to see some of the instruction at the javelin school. This is a group of girls 12 and under doing uh, approach work, running with a javelin. Here are the boys, 16 and 17, doing basic calisthenics and gymnastic type movements. We'll see as we bounce the camera around from station to station, uh, handstand walks and push-ups, and then they exchange positions and, and go back. You'll see a variety of different activities and training things that they do that just shows the basic abilities that you need to have to throw the javelin. Here we see the same group of young ladies working on their crossovers now, learning to move with the javelin in a relaxed manner. Now we see instruction in making sure that the effort of the crossover is to be moving forward and running away from the javelin. Your eyes and shoulders are lined up looking at the target downfield, as he's indicating, without any effort to achieve a backward lean by leaning back with the head or leaning back with the upper body, which puts you in a bad position. Keep the body nice, balanced, and vertical, and moving exclusively forward into the direction of the throw. Stay in upright without leaning backwards or leaning off to the side. As soon as you lift the head, as he's indicating here, the emphasis is going to be that the body weight stays on the back leg, and you get stuck, and then rock into the delivery and lose all of your power. Keep moving forward. Keep the emphasis on being balanced and making your energy go where you want the javelin to go, which is downfield. And then they emphasize this with the drills and instruction that they do. This is a little bit more technical aspect of the throw that he's going to demonstrate here. Quick crossovers moving in the direction of the throw, balanced and upright. Here's some reaction exercises to develop quickness on the clap, get to a stand as quickly as possible. Now from their stomach without using their hands, hands behind their back on the clap, get to an upright position. This is where you see where the athletes are and the wannabes. Those guys still getting up off the ground won't ever throw over 70 meters. Here with that same group of young women, we're working now on the delivery and the shoulders positioning for the strike. You can see the instructor here demonstrating how actively moving the right hip and keeping it out in front of the shoulder gives you position to strike over and above. Here we see exercises or just drills to keep the javelin close to the body and in control, knowing where the point is, knowing where the alignment of the javelin is in relationship to your body. Now back to the same group of young ladies. Now we're working on getting a delivery off of some steps, moving in with the, the acyclical rhythm of into the crossover letting the plant contort the body and deliver the javelin for you.
Here we have that group of young men working on crossovers, drills, and activities to get used to moving in awkward, unbalanced positions in order to generate speed moving forward. Here is the same group of young men working on stepping over hurdles, both normally stepping forward and pirouetting over them. All of these things are designed to help increase body awareness and athletic ability so that you are able to move in some fairly unnatural positions with some comfort and some balance and coordination. Here's some jumping and bounding drills on the level and then backwards uphill. Watching the fins and their throwing technique, you can see there's a great deal of leg power and leg explosion needed in order to do what they try to do technically in their throws. Another aspect is rhythm and the ability to move lightly and quickly and accelerating. So there's some dance-like work in the rhythms. Here we see the group of girls 12 and under doing crossover drills. Again, working on moving relaxed and aggressively in a somewhat awkward body position. Some medicine ball exercises, laying on the stomach, lifting the chest up and doing a soccer style throw in from a prone position. This is very good for the lower back and the shoulders. This is a group of, uh, I believe, nine and 10 year old girls doing this. And then the same group of girls doing a leg power exercise with the medicine balls. Another medicine ball exercise demonstrated by Michaela Engberg, big arch back and throw. Following that, you'll see some of the great historic javelin throwers in the historic javelin competition. Among them will be Uwe Hahn, Janis Lucis, and Jorma Kanunen all throwing. Jeff Gorski, and it's Kyrie Hahn, my guy throws really damn far. Sunday morning at the Javelin Carnival is when they have the elite men's and women's competitions. You can see the setup here. They get a packed house, and everybody really comes to have a good time and enjoy the big time throwing. It's a big gig to come play at the People Put This Carnival. These guys were playing last night at the dinner. I can see the Fletch Disco head going now. Fletch is packed. <laughs> Here we see a throw by a 17-year-old boy in excess of 73 meters, again demonstrating good basic javelin technique. Very aggressive, dynamic lower body action, quick dynamic takeover into the crossover, relaxed upper body, gets a good displacement of the center of gravity, hits that block, and then that solid jolt is what contorts the body and gives that big typical finish follow-through into the delivery. The throw by the same athlete, very, very nice in the final crossover here off the left leg, 
a good just flopping action of the right foot to let him get that solid quick left and then right through the point of the javelin. Big chase, big follow through. This is going to be a guy to watch out for in a couple of years from Finland. I like to say, if you wake up the next day, you don't feel like you got a train over your head. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Whoa! If you wake up the next day. Winning throw by the 15 year old in her age group competition. Again, it's pretty typical of the Finns. You see this very athletic, dynamic running action covering a lot of ground, a very athletic final crossover into a solid left side, and that impact can torch the body, and all the power goes up through the javelin, and then the big, typical finish follow-through after the throw. Here we see another girl from the same competition who again demonstrates a very nice right leg action, the sinking and flopping that carries you into a real solid jolt of the left leg. The impact of the left leg and how it impacts the rest of the throw can't be overemphasized enough. You can see how solid and firm it is and how it contorts the upper body into whipping into the delivery. Some uh, young boys, I believe these are 14 and 15 year olds working on the delivery position of the shoulder, rolling the shoulder up and making sure that you're pulling the shoulder over your center of gravity, not bailing out to the side. Here's another younger group. These are 9 and 10 year old boys working on making sure they keep their alignment of the jab. Another younger group, these are 9 and 10 year old boys working on making sure they keep their alignment of the javelin pointed downfield where the power of their run is going to go. this 12 year old kid on slow motion. This is to all about running into your plant and letting that contort you and deliver the javelin from your belly stretch. This is just beautiful to watch. Really moving down the runway, quick low leg action, great position with the javelin, and then that impact and the pull and the snap is just incredible. Kids 12, that's crazy. Here you see a variety of shoulder and upper back stretches also for the elbow with the javelin. Uh, the young lady earlier in the videotape that we saw, saw throw 59 meters uh, is the one who's the instructor in this group. You also see that they spend a lot of time working on the crossover in some drills after this and how that crossover carries you into the right leg clearing out of the way to get to the sudden plant so that they're basically working on the soft step technique, that idea of getting the right leg out of the way so that you hit your plant suddenly and aggressively. Ei, 
This is here is coming off the little crossover to plant with the left side facing the direction of the throw and the right hip turns and curls underneath rather than turning the whole body. Land sideways and then the right hip and right shoulder will react to the solid left side that you run into. <laughs> and the 300 plus foot throwers Antero Paranan is demonstrating just simply walking into the soft step and how the body has to move without slowing down into the left side. The athletes that he's working with in this group now are doing the same drill, walking into it and making sure when the left foot makes contact, your body weight is over the left so that you don't pause and you don't lose position of the javelin. Here's the one to the left. <laughs> Throw in the girls' 11 and 12 year old division. Once again, you see this really explosive boundary running stride as the athlete comes into a really sudden stopping action on that left side. Sideways into it makes the impact. The body contorts and whips everything right through the point of the javelin. Really, really pretty looking throw. And this is the 2001 women's elite competition followed by the men's competition. All of the men, all 11, had thrown over 81 meters this season.
hyvin kaartuu ja pitkälle ventää erittäin hyvä kesänä. Muuten noin näin lähtee aina repäilee. Ja nyt keihäs taas kohti. Ja viimeinen heitto. Ah, she just Thank you. 